Do what you do. That's still a glare. Okay. Where is the light coming from? <laughs> there we go. All right, man. We up in this joint by the devil doing his work, trying to uh, shut everything down before even good stuff gets started. He can't win, though. <laughs> Not at all. We up in this joint, man. Y'all know what it is. Another episode of Inside Access. I'm your boy, Jay, and I'm here with the beautiful Yeah. Panther Graphics, Inc., y'all. We finna get into it, man. We finna talk about this branding today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How big is branding in your business? Branding is everything. It's everything. Let me know when you're ready to get into it because it's everything. Everything. So before we get into it, though, I like starting the stories from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So let's introduce the people to who Pathographic is and where she started from. Well, okay. Hello, everybody. It's your girl, Vernika. Better known as V with Panther in Graphics. I am the owner and operator of Panther in Graphics, where we create a brand development for entrepreneurs. I like to focus on overwhelmed underdogs. Okay. The reason I love the overwhelmed underdog is because that is me. All right. And once we get into unraveling what branding really is, when it comes to the overwhelmed underdog, you have a story to tell and brand messaging should reveal that. So what I do at Panther in Graphics is create new lanes through brand strategy so you never have to compete in any. All right. I make unique results pulling from the underdog story and connecting it to the brand's message. So that's what I do. Y'all heard her. Y'all make sure y'all tap in too. Tap so in. let's get into it now. Technology, AI, everything has been like in a fact, just so you know too, I've been a graphic designer and web developer since I was a kid. Awesome. So, so we got a lot in common. Yes. Right. And in the last, I say five, 10 years, mm -hmm. the scope of designing, uh, media and everything is just making this like fast rapid change and one of the things as also as a consultant being that's my first love consulting is a second I see a lot of people that start business in the marketplace but have no brand identity right and but when you look at the big boys, the corporate America and all of them, their whole thing is their identity. Regardless of where you go, when you see that logo or you see that sign, you know who it belongs to and you know what it represents. But a lot of times as entrepreneurs, we don't take that approach. Why do you think that is? I feel like, especially with our black and brown community, we mm -hmm. weren't handed business etiquette. We weren't taught those tips and tools when we first got in this thing. Usually entrepreneurs, especially what, what they call small business or entry level entrepreneurs, they just don't know. They don't even know what really brand identity or brand development is. A lot of people don't understand. They say, I have a business. And I say it all the time. And I saw on one of your pieces of content, anybody can go get an LLC. Right. Okay. Indeed. But when it comes to an actual brand, what's the mission? What's the end goal? What's the, the legacy? What's the story? People miss the messaging and branding. They just think I have a business. Okay. They think branding, the extent of that is having a logo. And it's so much more than that. They don't understand principles and elements of design. They don't understand brand messaging. No one taught them. So therefore, and then a lot don't dig deep enough to seek. To understand that me as a brand developer, if I'm saying I'm going to master my craft, that takes research and development. So just for any other business owner, you need to get into research and development because you hit a strong point on artificial intelligence. I teach Brand Builders Academy about that. That's why collaborations and network is so important. You are only as strong as your network. And if you are the smartest one in the network, you need to run like hell and go find somebody else. OK, that's not a compliment to be the, the strongest one in the group. And then you wonder why you're always tired getting pulled on. Man. So to answer your question, I feel like it's just the lack of knowledge, the lack of information and the lack of really understanding what branding is. People that have been taught business 
they've opened a book or two to find that out. So we need to start seeking out what's full on through how do I rep represent myself and how do I stay consistent with the messaging? Indeed. You know? And and I'm going to give an example because this, this is subtle, right? And it, and it was done on purpose. And mm -hmm. I guarantee you that even the people that's watching this and not watch it later and not and even those that's going to watch it later didn't even pay attention to this subtle thing, but it's going to hit home for you watch. And that subtle thing is in my background, I have your color highlighted on my wall. Ah, yes. So yes. when we talk about Brandon, Right. And we talk about the impact that it has when people are paying attention to what you do, how you do it, and seeing you on a consistent basis, it becomes a part of them. Exactly. So even exactly. that thing, that subtle thing of that loud green in your graphics, in your artwork, in your social media, and everything else is a signature of your brand. Right. So when you interact with other people, they adopt that as a, you know, it's almost like a, a compliment. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Things yeah. like that, people don't even pay attention to. Would it be those subtle things that you don't even realize that you adopt? Exactly. And people do it all the time in their wardrobe. You know, your designer, you feel like you better than this because of, right, exactly. In, in, the, in your wardrobe, what you wear, all of that. And most people wear more other people's branding and logos than they do their own. Thanks. Thanks. And to me, I never under, I never really understood that element of it until later like you go around all the time praising somebody else's value but you never create your own and you never give your own brand a name or an existence or anything it's just something that just uh you know eh. yeah <laughs> yes. it's just, eh. you I mean, make it somebody the color. else name rich yes yep. down from the color everything you know you know what I mean? Like it, it has to be sentimental to you it's almost like a family monogram or a family mm -hmm. crest or or whatever the case may be right now, if you're just doing business as a little side thing, I can see you not paying attention to it. But I even think that that's a bad, bad thing when you start in business. Like, for instance, I always talk about how people start in business now in trends. Right. You start in business in a trend. You should never start a business in a trend. Never. <laughs> never. That's not a that's not a business because trends end. So, when it gets in, so does your business. Mm -hmm. But if you start trends with a purpose, that purpose is. It's infinite. Yeah. Because the purpose never stops. Your purpose, whatever your purpose, it never ends. You're going to always have a purpose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Pat, when you started Panther Graphics, what made you go down that path? Oh, that's a good question. So, I'm going to take you back, coming fresh out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Shout out to Louisiana. That's my original city and state. I moved to Houston, Texas when I was 18. I used to be the girl that could sketch and I would sketch for lunch money and sketch mm -hmm. to keep my beeper bill paid back yep. when we had the $8 beeper bill. So I was the fine arts person. I would be the one doing surrealism and acrylic paints and staying in the art room. But then when you get to college and they're telling you, you know, you're going to end up picking out paint swatches at Lowe's or Home Depot as a fine artist or mm -hmm. fine artists don't usually thrive until they're dead. You know, when you think of Van Gogh, when you think of Michelangelo, when you think of all the known, the greats, they mm -hmm. didn't really become famous until afterlife. Right. So once I came to that awareness, I was like, oh, no, I got to figure out. And this is when the phase of computers were taking over. This is when IBM, this is when Macintosh had the big back computers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is when I got into Adobe before they had a cloud. Okay. No, that, hey, that, 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 into it when they got the cloud. Okay. Hey, look, I've been writing boy, this look, on a quick, floppy disk. You heard me? Right. Quick sidebar. That's funny because right. I started off on a Commodore 64. So, that, okay. That, that's funny. That's it, like, so. I, I was bootlegging Adobe at, at, college, at college campuses. Talk about <laughs> because, it, right? I was bootlegging it to black market Adobe trying to get absolutely because it was four, back then it was like three four thousand to get a yes. Adobe. Man, <laughs> look, y'all get this for the hot three hundred. Y'all get this yes. for the hot three hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Period. <laughs> Period. Straight up. Listen, you used to get that little crack code, the little key All code. Yep. Listen, if yep. you know, you know. Okay. 
So that's when I started. I am raw, fine art into graphic design because I felt like at that turn of events when computers were taking over, I knew I was an artist. So I married the two. I was like, how can I avoid a computer taking my job? Yeah. So graphic design made sense. So I went mm -hmm. to college and got my AS, AAS, the Applied Science degree for digital communications. That included marketable skills awards in graphic design and multimedia. When I took that, because I'm used to like hustle, I want it fast. I didn't go to four year. I did two year, got the foundation of it, understood my elements and principles, got me a business card at Kinko's. And I started going to Starbucks with my little laptop sitting up, distributing. Because, you know, Starbucks, they nosy. When they see you with a laptop, they want to know, like, what's going on? What's going on? Mm -hmm. But I always was on a mission because I knew Panther Inc. was my bread and butter. I knew graphic design. That was the skill set God gave me. So that goes into brand development. How do you leverage what you can do in your sleep? That and I knew cool. that fine arts was my talent. So I said, let's go with it full throttle. So now it's what, 20 years later, and I've been able to build a brand, build a business. Word of mouth gave me the longevity because of my customer care and my high energy, hence the lime green. Mm -hmm. It represents the tone, the energy that you're going to get over here. I could do it for you or I could do it with you. There are packages, there's products and services that handle all of that. But that took me being disciplined and consistent with knowing to focus on my one thing. And that was my skill set. My raw talent was art. So I said, let's get that art to the computer and make it happen. And now we have Panther Ink Graphics. That's what's <laughs> up. That, 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 that is hilarious. We got that in common because. What's even more funny, you said you gave him the two years. I didn't give him six months. I went, yeah. in there, I went in there in six months, and I'm like, I already know all this. I'm wasting my money up in here. I already know right, all get this. Out. Get in and get yeah. out. <laughs> right. I done self-taught all this. Y'all in here with this slow-paced stuff, man. I'm out of here. Yes. I done, done this already. Yes. That is hilarious, though. So, yeah. look. Now, now so you going to – this is a good one because how far you came back, and I can relate to that, right? So mm -hmm. at that time, when you thought computers was going to take your job, how you feel now with what AI is doing? Oh, man, this is what I do. <clears throat> I've learned in business, if it's something that that's why your network is so important. Mm -hmm. You got to make sure you get in the room. One thing about V, I'm always a forward thinker and I'm always going to tap in with people that are forward thinkers. So when I'm paying attention, I don't scroll Instagram to play. I scroll with intention. So mm -hmm. when I'm scrolling, I'm looking for what's the waves. If I'm on Twitter, if I don't even deal with TikTok, but if I was over there, I know what I'm looking for. Like you mm -hmm. said, with trends, I always teach in BBA, don't follow a trend, be the trend. Yep. So in order to do that, you got to know what's going on. And I know even though it is overwhelming, it's a new thing. Web3 is overwhelming. But when Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, all the fintech, when that talk started hitting the waves, these ears started going up like, wait a minute, because listen, mm -hmm. I'm always tapped in. I see yep. how government moving. I'm seeing how everything's moving. Absolutely. So you put two and two together to make four. And when you're seeing, and I use AI, I use Jasper, I use copy. I use all of these different things in my business for my team to assist me as well. So mm -hmm. when you see an app development, me as a person that teaches brand development, we got to make it make sense. Common sense is saying these are things you either got to learn and get with it. And I'm good with shaking, molding, flipping and, and, <laughs> and developing. You got to be a chameleon to be able to survive. So if I know I can't do it and it's over my head, I'm going to make sure I have it in my network. So with mm -hmm. that being said, one of my mentees, she develops for IMVU and Meta. And she's already in that space. So I always reach out to her to reference to see how are we moving in this area and what do I need to do to get prepared? Facts. So, I think, yeah, I'm going to end up transferring my services into that that space sooner than later. But, yeah, yeah I absolutely. think you can't see, get I always looked at it. See, this is how I look at it. Like, I'm never intimidated by technology, right? Because I'm a right. tech. So when it came out, I was I was 10 toes in. Yeah, because it's a tool. At the end of the day, yeah. it's a tool. Yeah. Most people get mad at it because they feel like it's going to take their job or whatever the case may be. So you fighting against something that that's a fight that you're not going to win. No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You 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 can say what you want to say. You can scream to the top of the mountain. But technology is going to always advance. And, it's, and if history has proven that. 
you know right. what I'm saying? And, and if it hadn't advanced, most of you wouldn't even be doing what you're doing now as far Seriously. as being on the internet, connected, network, all that's technology. When it first came out, your mama and them was probably like, get off of that thing. That thing ain't going to do nothing for you. Yeah. It's the same. Yeah. So we had that next, ele- I think we had that next evolution of what, what design and, and not just design and branded, but just in general, because when we talk about like artificial, the things that they have out now, like literally I was just playing with this new AI software that just came out to where you can create your highlights and put it in the software and it creates the whole PowerPoint presentation for you, including graphics that relate to what you're talking about and everything. Nice. So you can you imagine <laughs> even in your workspace or even in your business, depending on what you're doing. So both that we've been in a brand and I'm going to use this as an example. Mm-hmm. You get a client that need a PowerPoint presentation done. And you can go into Jasper and have Jasper create you an outline of that topic. Take that outline, put it into the other one, and it create the whole PowerPoint presentation to you within 10 minutes. Right. To me, that's a win all day. Oh, it's a win-win. It's a win-win, especially when you don't have to reveal your background process so you can book 18 clients right. and have that turned around. And they like, that's another thing that leverages you. Indeed, all day. You'd be like, damn, you did that fast. You know, exactly. you, you know even exactly. if you didn't, but look, but even if you didn't, even if you didn't flex, right? Yeah, even say, if you didn't yeah, give it three days. Say, yeah, right. Just let's say, just let <laughs> just, just say you just you know, you got the money, I'll have this back to you, you know, two weeks. Yep. Well, I done already yep. banged it on, got it off my calendar to put it on the schedule to email to you in two weeks to show Done. You, I mean, no, email it to you in seven days for the for you to proof it. <laughs> it's done. We it's in a done. room we're chilling. I'm it's just right. waiting it's on done. the auto, <laughs> waiting on my calendar to remind me to send it right. to you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like the power, like the like, and I'm one of the yeah. ones like when I get off into something, man, like I don't even sleep. I be up at night, just you know, like yeah. all the way. I gotta master whatever that is. I, I decide I want to chew on, and that's right. one of those things that I'm on right now is that AI. Yeah, because this week, because I know, because I know at some point. Probably by the end of this year, maybe next year at the most, uh, it's gonna be more AI come out. But the the top dogs of the AI, like software and tech, it's gonna be untouchable for most to even use. Yes, yes, and that's true, Jay. That's so true. And then I listen to what Wall Street Trapper talks about of how it's affecting stocks too. How these mergings are happening with again fintech partnering with the banks. So now we converting currency into digital. Like everything is about to be a different space. I saw a forum about the grocery stores where now you're going to start entering at the gate, scanning your personal code that connects yeah. to that grocery store and that grocery store has connection to your bank account. Ain't no more stealing groceries. Not at all. <laughs> they're deducting. They're deducting. And I don't know how they're going to calculate it yet, but there are already grocery stores putting this into place. It's taking over. Yeah, and you know was- you can't be to join it. I went to Italy in October and I was at the airport and um, we had, I was on a layover mm-hmm. and I walked past this kiosk that it was an artificial robot in there making the lattes and the coffees. Mm, <laughs> they, think, mean, they think COVID got rid of jobs. <laughs> look here. <laughs> I mean, that thing was in there. I mean, and it, it was entertaining at that. So it was like in there making the coffee Waving at you know fake waving the robot arm fake waving My dancing goodness. a little bit while the while the while the cream was being poured he danced the robot dancing My a little goodness. bit the the whole thing then made it turn around put the foam on top put it back stuck it in the slot handed it to the people little thank you thing come up on the screen and all of that listen Jay listen this is what's really gonna blow the people's minds there are documentaries in other countries like you said Italy there are documentaries that are in Asia and different things where they are taking your identity. Because we all have avatars, by the way. Everybody's yep. giving up enough of their personal information. And one thing we're not understanding is the most valuable thing in this world is data. Yep. And we are so easy to give over name, phone number, address, what we like, what we dislike, when we're on these dating sites, who we are, long walks on the beach, I'm an Aquarius, all that good stuff. Everything. So now it's going to get to a point where this artificial intelligence, you're going to see ads when you're walking down the high hallways and in the subway stations that's talking directly to you. They're going to call your name. Mm-hmm. Next is going to be that robot guessing what kind of latte you like. Yeah. Okay. 
They're yep. gonna be like, hey Jay, come on over. We know you like that cold brew with that skim mm-hmm. milk. You're gonna be like, how does robot know me? Yeah, he's gonna be telling you what you what you should and shouldn't eat. You shouldn't eat that. Your blood pressure is gonna go right. Up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, get your talk to my mama. <laughs> Your glucose That's level is a little high. I would not recommend you buying that snicker. <laughs> right. And it's here. It's here. I'm glad you're covering this because I we got to wake up. It's here. It's not like get ready in the next five. It's here. What are you going to do about it? Yep. You got to, yeah. you got to, you have to put your 10 toes in the sand now. Yep. Because if you don't, I'm, it, it, it's one of the things like if you don't take it serious, you, you're going to really feel it later on. Ooh. You're going to be really left behind. And I mean feel it. Yep. And, it and I gave you a prime example. If you can just go back and talk, if your, you know, any of your grandparents are still alive and you go talk to your grandparents now and you're trying to tell them how to go get the money out the ATM machine or how to yeah. check out that self-checkout at the grocery store and yeah. all these different things where they were used to doing certain things a certain way mm-hmm. and they didn't stay up to date on how to do things and now they are older now and they lost that's what that's what it's going to be but it's going to be at a younger age though yes it's not going to be when you 60 70 years old it's going to be when you in your 40s and 50s (laughs) where where it matters that you're going to be just like lost yeah that's so true so true It's, it's deep so i know you have different programs for for different things right Mm -hmm. Um, if you had to give advice, you know, to the listeners and the watchers about branding their entities or branding their clothing brand or, or anything in that nature, like what's an approach that you would tell them at the beginning when they go into design or come up with a concept of a formula that they could do? Okay, so first it will probably start with understanding what is branding. Branding is the vehicle. I always call it the vehicle. It's the vehicle that connects the customer with the company. Okay, so when we talk about that, if it's the vehicle, think of like a Lyft car or an Uber car. What makes that driver's experience memorable to you when it's getting you from point A to point B? Did they have an air freshener in there? Did, were you able to play? I've been in, in lift cars when I'm traveling, speaking places and stuff, and they have it where you can have a little tablet on the back of the seat where, you know, you can play games on it. They're playing your favorite music. They've got mm-hmm. mints. They've got water bottles in there. They're holding conversation versus the vehicle that doesn't talk to you. It's got a stale smell in it. Which one is more memorable? Which experience while you're in that ride is taking you somewhere where you will want to go again? So you want to think about that when it comes to your brand. So I always ask people first start with understanding what is your why? Why are you doing what you do? When I'm on a clarity call with new clients and they're like, I think I want a business. Okay, well, first, what's the concept? What problem do you solve? Okay, what can you do easy that is hard for other people? That's what you really need to know. Is it a need? Have you confirmed that it's a need or is it a passion project? You got to really be clear on that because when you get in, it is a lot of people are go, they're falling for these smoking mirrors on social media, thinking that this is just a hype and it's something that's cute and it's bells and whistles and it's not hard work. Your why has to mean enough to you to put in the work. So when it comes to your brand, first know what problem you solve. What can you do easy that comes hard to others? You know, something second nature to you that you can leverage that's been proven to be a need. And then you come up with an easy to understand, memorable concept for your company's name. I'm Panther in graphics because I leave stains on brands. I leave a stain on your brain. I'm an everlasting impression. I'm bold. I'm mystical. These are the things that represent my brand. So all the concepts are based around that. When I say I like to serve the underdog, I relate that to the jungle. I'm Mm -hmm. panther. When it comes to the energy and you think about a panther crawling and pouncing, that's nothing you want to play with. So when it comes to branding, I stand in my own lane. A panther is a very unique animal. Okay. It's a leopard undercover. Really? People don't Mm -hmm. know panthers are leopards with black coats. So when Mm -hmm. it comes to all of these different elements, 
you want to think about what you represent and then tie that into the icon. And you also need to understand the concepts of color theory. Color is very important when it comes to your branding. If you are not running a cartoon shop or a kid's store, we don't want to see curly, bubbly font. If you run a fitness center, we don't want to see Sarah font. That's old school. That's for a book writer or an author. If you are running something like a spa, you wouldn't want to use my lime green. You would want to go with a subtle blue. So mm -hmm. it's the things that you really have to understand. Um, that's why you want to hang with people like OGs like me and Jay to understand these concepts because these are yep. things that really make or break a brand. And last but not least, make sure your mission is clear. Your story is everything. I always teach in brand builders that the big brands, they didn't just sell because they were the best cook or the best tennis shoe. Jordan didn't sell, and he's not a household name and a legacy just because he had the cutest or the dopest looking shoe. It's because he had the dopest story at the time of his rise. People buy the story and people buy the transparency behind the brand. It has nothing to do with your product or service. It's the story behind your product or service that's going to set you apart. So those are the concepts that you really have to understand when you're first starting out. Be clear on who you are and what you represent and then understand the elements that make an everlasting design. Man, now you said something in there that was a gem. And I know it went over most people here, so I'm going to reiterate it because I know for a fact if, if nobody in here hasn't interacted with you, they have no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> and that was color theory. Yes. Right? And all big companies use color theory mm -hmm. in their branding department and their marketing department. They have meetings yes. surrounding color theory when they yes. putting out an advertisement, when they putting something on TV in a commercial in an ad on social media, because you as a human being, we are, <laughs> we are visual people first. That's right. And your visual touches your emotions. And they have a whole theory wheel. And you can y'all go look this up. Y'all can Google it. Google color theory. Yep. Color you can wheel. Google color theory. And it's a psychological, scientific fact of what colors bring out in you emotionally. So That's when right. doing so when you walk into and and they're doing it to you all the time, you just don't even realize it. Yes. <laughs> That's yes. the cold. That's the cold part, right? Like <laughs> Yes. Like, I was on a, I was on a, um, I had this contract with Sony years, years, years ago. And in there, one of the, the head dudes that had been in, you know, one of them old, white, old, 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 old white dudes that had been marketing way back when they was doing it in newspapers and stuff. Right. You know? And he was also, he was kind, he was on the contract too. And what he did at that time was he staged the department stores for like Nordstrom's, Macy's and places mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And I at that that's when my mind was blown because I didn't know that it was an actual thing like that. Mm -hmm. So just to break it down and keep it simple and quick. When you walk into a department store, they track you as a human being. Like you might see the cameras, you might think those cameras is for just for security, but they're not. They are tracking metrics to see when you walk into the store what attracts your vision and your body language and your attention when you walk into a department store. Mm -hmm. So when you walk into a store, the way they have it staged and the way they have the lighting set is to draw your attention to that sale item or this new thing or whatever, and to pull you towards that weight. And they actually track these metrics over how many people come through in a quarter and they do about a quarter. So in yes. the first quarter, how many people come through during the holidays? How many people come through? Yes. And that's how they stage their department stores. That's right. That's and right. They, and it's the same in the grocery stores. Yep. And everywhere. everywhere. Yeah, it's everywhere. It's tied to it. Let's take it even deeper. Me coming from Louisiana, we're big on casinos, right? Yep. And you wonder why they have put the bells when the bells sound off and uh -huh. they have all the lights, the flashing lights. Mm -hmm. That is to create energy to get you to move. They don't want you sitting at a casino, a slot for too long. It's to create movement. People don't understand the power in color. Just like fast food places, when you walk into Taco Bell, McDonald's, all of them are using associated colors, the power colors. 
You're going to see a lot of red and yellow. If you do see a green or a purple, it's a strong shade of it because they don't want you there long. Mm -hmm. You're not going to find dim lighting like in a restaurant or a four star so hotel, spa, or something like that, where the lights are low, they want you to stay a while and relax. Yes. So all of these concepts play a part. And like you said, it's playing on us every day. You wasn't even thinking about Chick-fil-A and them, or Taco Bell and KFC, and you driving down the street, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, I'm hungry, because right. a color combination will make you hungry. Mm -hmm. It's all psychology. So I'm yep. so glad you spoke on that, because it's important for a brand. Even when it comes to, for my people with products or e-commerce, because we talked about clothing earlier when it comes to the different seasons pay attention to the seasons and the holidays and you want to play off of that so when you're coming to planning out maybe your mock-ups for the quarter to come and maybe that quarter falls in fall even though my brand colors may be green black and white i may want to put it on a cocoa brown warm-up though for that season or yes. something that reminds you of fall or like, for instance, when the holidays, Valentine's Day come, Valentine's Day come, you wouldn't want to use Halloween colors on Valentine. That's going to miss the audience. We're not doing orange. We're going to do red, you know? So yep. it's, it's really important to understand that or work with someone that does. Now, now in branding, right, we was talking about logos and everything else. And people mm -hmm. always, I, I believe people think that branding is just limited to just a few items, right? Mm -hmm. But branding is beyond that. So I feel like if you in business, your branding should be across everything that you touch from pins you give out yeah. to uh, your, your business cards, e even now in digital, like um, there's companies out here where, you know, you got the tap button on the bottom, you know, your phone and stuff, yeah. your, your um information and stuff like that uh, goes to your website all that type of mm -hmm. stuff like that your, you know keep your keys that like everything that you own that got somebody else's brand on it that you you should have your brand on it that's right and it's called promotional products yes so everything that you from a, a champagne cork puller to the the, the t tab on your key ring that's to right the, your apparel your shirts like all of these things could be branded with your brand on it and you'll be surprised that a lot of the designer clothing that you buy that you spend hundred dollars on two hundred dollars on those things all get made by the same company that yes. that same item may cost you five ten dollars yes the same shirt same, <laughs> the same only difference you, you they pay look you pay <laughs> You pay five dollars for the shirt and you pay four hundred and fifty dollars for the name on the front of it. Period. <laughs> period. Margins is this big. Period. Right. Margins is that big. The shirt costs five dollars. When I put my name on the front, it went to five hundred dollars. That's it. Yep. So when you That's buy it. you know Balenciaga and all that, them shirts is not getting made in some special factory. It sure isn't. That coming from the same you know, warehouse of special sheep, Yeah, by some that special is. sheep wool. <laughs> By some rare, some rare silk worm that they been <laughs> raised and, and, and just, they not doing that. They not doing that. They are not doing that. <laughs> just so you guys know, right. so y'all getting work. To be honest with you, that's it. You have your own thing on. That's it. That's it. Wear I, wear, I wear my brand all the time. Faith yep. over fear is mine. Panther is mine. The wristband that you I wear. This, this is yep. my business card. Yep. Man, look, it's funny too because I just ordered some of them. Yeah, these are so dope. I just went to, I was in Atlanta last link? week for a mastermind with Trapper, Neo DeViso, and David Shans. David Shans is my coach. Shout out to David. But we did a mastermind and it was a small group. And you be, well, you wouldn't be surprised. But going back to the point you're making, just me doing business with this wristband, people felt like I was an expert. So many people, because they saw me scanning this on their phone, and the beauty about this Papa wristband is not just giving you my business card. You have to give me your information, too. Yeah. So what does this become? It's a walking prospect builder. This yep. is a list builder on my wrist. What about yep. the times when you run out of cards? And for women, we like to switch our purses to match our outfits and stuff. You might have forgot your cards in the other purse when you were rushing out that day, but your wristband should sit with your jewelry. Okay? Yeah, and, so, and not only that, though, if you got it connected with your workflow from
and when they put the information in, goes into a CRM. Now you got their information. That's and if it. You, and, and if you gave them a business card, nine times out of ten, most people lose that business card within four days anyway. Yeah. Yeah. But when they touch that phone on that band, yeah. that contact information is in that phone. They people take that phone with them everywhere they go. They ain't leaving That's that phone right. nowhere. That's right. That's right. It really set me apart. Everybody asked, and then taking it one more step further, Jay, a lot of people that are starting in business and existing businesses, mm -hmm. think about your affiliate opportunities. If you had an affiliate link to Popple, so when people are scanning this and they're like, man, what is that company? Every phone I scanned asked me, where did I get this from? Mm -hmm. So the affiliate link, I can say, hey, use this link. <laughs> Go ahead. So now that's money in my pocket out the gate. Right. Okay. Even if you don't call me back, I just made me leave ten dollars. I just made me leave ten dollars. <laughs> Lisa made me ten five ten dollars real quick. Listen, you just bought my dinner for the night. I could have right. got this with ten people, a hundred dollars in my pocket, whether we do business or not. Man, you sleeping. Get that thing through. So, you know, I like giving out jewels too. So, bring that you brought that up. I'm going to drop two because Popo is one of the top ones and it's another one. So, since we talked about it, there's two companies you can get them from mm -hmm. Popo mm -hmm. and Link. Mm -hmm. Those are the two, those are, those are two big companies that, that yes. do those. Yes. Y'all get with it. Get with it. Don't get left behind. Get with it. We dropping sauce in this. We just Damn. told y'all that was a two for one right there. A two for one. <laughs> two for one. And I didn't even get no Philly commission from it neither. I know, oh, that's right. Me neither. <laughs> me at that I was so mad at myself. I said, why didn't? And Papa has affiliate. I said, why didn't I set that up before I left that house? <laughs> but I didn't know. I was assuming that, you know, people were on it. And you should never assume. Never assume. I went in never. there with so many. And that was the crazy thing. To know you sitting in a mastermind. And you have Trapper, the master of stocks. You have Neo, the event space guru. You have David Shans, the podcast king. But nobody asked them particular questions about that. Everybody in the mastermind asked how to build their brand and engage through their content. So when they were posed in the room, what was I doing? Checking. I'm checking the room, the case out. When they ask questions, my head turned like, who said they need help with that? Oh, you, oh, okay. I'm going to make it over there. Just don't uh, worry. Take man. notes. Gonna, I, I'm going to tap in with you in a second. Yeah, we're we going to congregate in just a second. <laughs> but it's amazing. It's a lot of people that need help in that area because, again, it's just something that's not discussed. You jump into entrepreneurship and you're missing that major step and sometimes the brand development is the thing that set, sets you apart from your success you can have a great product or service but you don't even know how to convey the message to get your audience you talking to the wrong people on the wrong platform at the wrong time looking for a result that they can't even relate to yeah that's for sure yep so gym time you gotta you gotta you gotta bless the people with something okay I'll let you decide what that is, what, what you want to be. I know you got a couple events coming up. I mean, uh, uh, it is events, right? Or was it a, uh, courses? No, classes. It's all kinds of stuff going on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's all kinds of stuff, man. Matter of fact, Lord. So, okay, so I'm going to hit you with the gym first. Um. I'll say this. I think I'm a, I'm going to do something because a lot of people feel like they're ready for business, but their mindset isn't right. So I'm going to go from a mindset side to keep people encouraged that your purpose is yours. And the thing that you have in the pit of your gut that you can't forget about, the thing that just keeps keep you keep dreaming about it, you hearing about it, you seeing visions about it, you keep neglecting it. I need people to understand the importance of separating from their distractions so they can figure out the depths of their why. I'm so tired of people that are talented coming to me, but they are so lost. And then they're looking at the fact like, I need you to baby step and hold my hand, but I can't be the one to figure out what this means to you. So I want people to really understand it's time to step out and be the individual you were intended to be. And it's time to understand that you are enough to pursue the thing that you know you can't ignore. 
everything that people used to speak against me on is the exact thing that makes me money today. You're too loud. You're goofy. You're too excited. Oh, she's so friendly. Then they take that for weakness too, thinking I'm the one to play with, but that's for another day. You know right. what I'm saying? Indeed. No but doubt. I need people to stand and be clear on who they are because only you have your unique story and your ne your unique story is the thing that's going to take you to those riches and that legacy and that wealth building and all the other desires of your heart. So I want to encourage the entrepreneurs that's looking to get into this game. You got to first start with you and your mindset. You are not going to be successful if you're lazy. You are not going to be successful if you're complacent. You are not going to be successful if you feel like you still have tomorrow to get it done. Nobody promised you that. So I need people to really buckle down because while you sleeping, hungry panthers like me around here snatching plates. That's why the calendar is full. And that's why people I'm gravitating. They're pulling because I am diligently seeking my best self every single day. So as you do that, you start to elevate with frequency. And in return, God gives you the things that you've been desiring in your heart. And he starts to align you with people. It's not as hard of a fight as you make it. It's just that you're putting your energy in the wrong places. So kill the distractions, get focused. The main things, the four top things I focus on is faith, determination, consistency, and diligence. If you can commit to those four things, you're going to make it. You just got to stop doubting it and stop putting excuses out there. I don't tolerate excuses. I always say, can we exchange that for execution? So that's the gems. I don't know how many that was, but that's the gym. Hey, it, there's no such thing as... uh. Uh, unlimited um, gems. <laughs> well, I appreciate you. Yep. There's no such thing because I think people people really do need to hear that. And yeah. um, it's uh, man, I I said all the time, right? Because I like we get a lot of people that come through that then chase everything across the internet and still is right back where they was when they first started chasing. Yeah. And they missing a lot of the key elements. They missing foundation. And I'm big on foundations. Right. And I'm big on like you got to have the, you got to have the, the you can't build nothing without a foundation. Mm -hmm. And. As I said this year, we was going to you know disrupt the whole thing because. Uh, it's just too many people out here that's like you said, that's talented. that got good ideas mm -hmm. that purpose driven. And they just getting drugged. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They just getting drugged through the internet streets. And I I know what that I know what that's like coming from, you know, doing it for so long to where it becomes discouragement after a while. You feel mm -hmm. like it's your fault. You feel like it's you. And it's not you, it's just you just don't have the the proper information. Yes. You know what I mean? That's it. You just it's yes. and 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 most people I talk to, it'd be like the little thing, they'd be like, that was all or that was it. That's all I was missing. Or I didn't look at it that way. Yes. It's not, it's, it don't even be nothing major. Yeah. Yeah. It, it don't even be, be nothing major. Just a, a tweet. You know, just one little tweet. Yeah. And, and that's it. But that's it. it'd be the hype train that, you know what I mean? Get the, the, the emotional part. Like you got to have emotional intelligence sometimes to be able to not mm -hmm. get excited about what you think somebody else doing because a lot of them not doing what they all excited about anyway. Mm -hmm. Say that again, James. <laughs> so, you know, man, I, I I enjoyed this conversation, and I knew that I would because I knew we had a lot in common. I've been I've been watching you in these internet streets in your lives. You know, made on different things. So this was uh, I said when 2023 because we should start doing this more often. I said I already know who I'm gonna be the first target. <laughs> I appreciate I, I, you, already, brother. Already, I already knew who I was, where I was coming to, and we're gonna collab on some stuff too. Most That's, definitely, we're gonna definitely collab on some stuff, man. We're gonna have to do some, 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 some events, some workshops, or something together, man. And, I'm ready. And, and bless the people, man, to combine, you know, what I do with what you do, because I'm ready. Um, it's needed, you know. It is. Day, it is. It is. And we on JV twenty three this year, so. We trying to find solid people to do some solid stuff, man, and make it look like it's supposed to look out here. Listen, our own. 
collaboration over competition all day. I just day. got invited to North Carolina. As a matter of fact, I think you spoke on, on Char North Carolina or Charlotte earlier. It'll be yep. in May, and it's the Revive Her Conference. And it's a few other things I have simmering. Of course, I have Brand Builders Academy for anybody that needs brand development or they need a coach to walk them through. I help with the mindset and branding in Brand Builders Academy. But if you're looking just to have a done for you, we do have several packages to accommodate entrepreneurs. And all of that can be found at Pantheon Graphics. You can click the link in my bio. I'm on all social platforms, and that is also my website. But make sure you do Panther in graphics, and it's with the X at the end, okay? Yep. So if y'all watching, it's down happen. in the corner. Y'all can see it down in the corner if y'all watching. Y'all make sure y'all go follow her on Instagram, and her link will take you to all the other stuff she just mentioned. Yeah, and I appreciate you, Jay. I've been, of course, peeping you, too, on our other, on our other brother platforms part my true shout out to part my true oh, shout yeah. out to this, this my, my nephews man this is my nephews man i gotta get yeah. them back because we was doing the other podcast you know well, i'm you know my nieces and nephews podcast and they was on there man with these you know the, the young bucks be saying they be so dragging man they okay be i try to get him to be consistent exactly exactly um, I'm, I'm calling him and uh uh credit yoda out you can't have my yes. yoda, yeah you can't have my yoda name and be out here slacking man <laughs> <laughs> Make him live up to it, Jay. And that's like my little brothers. And that the boy and Yoda. We have conversations. That's why, but I, I love them. Yeah, and like, absolutely, I love man. I take their energy and everything, man. They for yep. the people, man. I, I anything I could do to help them, man. I told them I'm there for them, man. That's yeah. what it's about. Yeah. We need we need you. We need you, especially in that lane over there. That credit lane ugly. That consumer law lane ugly. So we need they need us. And that's why I say I've had the taste of working with the millionaires. I've been on the stage with a few of them. I get it. Um, I understand that I can do it, but I know my call on my life is to stay in the trenches with the people that did not have a way. They did not have a handout. They did not have instruction on how to get this thing going. And that's who I'm here to serve. So I'm in it for the long haul. So I definitely look forward to us connecting. Workshops are actually what I plan to start doing. Um, I'm going to jump that off. I'm friends with the uh, owners of the Black Store out here in Houston. So I'll start doing workshops for the community uh, for free here in Houston. And then I'm just going to branch out. I want to start focusing on faith-based organizations, too, because the enemy is taking over with the marketing and social media and the news. Like It's saturated with foolishness. We got to get our soldiers to stand up and get some representation out here. And I have learned, and this is another tip, this is a bonus gem for y'all to just really chew on and pass on to your children's children. Learn the importance of serving. Mm -hmm. The vision is really what leads. Do not chase a bag. A lot of people get so fearful, like, oh my God, the bills are coming. That's why I said faith is one of my four. You got to really apply pressure in the area of what you represent and the problem you solve so much so that sometimes it is for free. You have to understand that sometimes you will have to serve. When you do it with the mission of serving, the money will chase you. And that has been proven to me time and time again. Now, of course, everything's not free. You discern that. You take time and understand where you see opportunities. The way I was able to become successful is because, of course, I'm easy to talk to. I'm high energy, so it attracts people. But ultimately, when you get behind the scenes with me, my main purpose, my main end goal is how can I serve? How right. can I serve has protected me? How can I serve has led to expansion for my business? So stop chasing bags. You leave with the mission and the money chases you. And that's it. Man, that's what's <laughs> up right there. That, and I, I, I can already see that's one of the things I think we're going to end up uh, working together on because I have an FBO. It's called Juniorpreneurs. And um, <laughs> And it's and the whole purpose of it is to from age twelve to eighteen, it start giving them the foundations of what it what it's like to be an entrepreneurship and teaching them about you know managing money, how to you know what what debt is for real for real, how yeah. important their credit is, you know marketing branding like all those things that we didn't get taught between those ages and didn't have yeah. no understanding of what it was and try to curve it early so by the time they are that yes. uh, 18 plus it's a whole it's a whole different ball game 
oh, I'm with it. Oh, I'm with it. Because that's that, honestly my end goal, Jay. We're going to talk. We're going to definitely talk. I yeah. know my end goal. Panther Inc., that is the mission because that's my natural talent. But the end goal is, is nonprofit. It's to help the youth. So that's so ironic <laughs> that yeah. you are aligned yeah. in yeah. that. Yep, yeah. you called that right yes. up. because I already got it established. It's already there. It's already... It's already in the pocket. Like I started last year um, with the with the courses and stuff, and I had about eight kids. But then um, I forgot what happened. But I pushed it back until this year because we yeah. were trying to the last year trying to acquire another company and stuff like that. So we got that all the way now. So this month. I'm, I'm, you're gonna start seeing me drop it and push it to start recruiting kids for it. I love that. I love that, Jay. I commend yeah. you for that. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, that's from growing up in the you know boys and girls clubs and all that type of stuff, and knowing how important that was to <laughs> when you coming up in the hood, how that how that keep you oh, out of yeah. Out of- yeah, how that keep you out of out, out of trouble? Listen, <laughs> I, I give a shout out to that all the time. My parents kept me in some beta club start program. Right. And you, know I mean? keep you right out of trouble. You know what I'm saying? If you busy, you ain't got to worry about being busy somewhere else. That's right. That's <laughs> right. I appreciate you, Queen. And we definitely gonna tap in. And for y'all, y'all that missed it, y'all can go follow her at Panther Inc. Graphics with an S at the end, as she stated clearly the first time. Don't go mess that up. That's right. It was an honor and it was a pleasure. And we're going to touch bases. You know, I appreciate we- you, Jay. Thanks for having me. You guys do the same. Anybody from my tribe, make sure you tap in. He's going places. A-X-S. Okay? It's all yeah, about man. it. Be legendary. I, I, I didn't even get my own tag, man. Y'all go follow me at the Yoda Nose. There you go. Because I know some stuff. He knows some stuff, y'all. <laughs> I appreciate you, Jay. This was great. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. <laughs>